what happens when we mismatch our lifestyle and our microbiota for our biology is that we start seeing diseases that were completely unknown to our ancestors and that are still unknown to traditional populations. So here you see some of the ways in which we've changed our lifestyle. Uh, they come from uh, consuming specific types of drugs or antibiotics, having changed diet. Uh, even how we're born or how we uh, raise our, our children affects a lot how their microbiota is able to establish. And these changes have been correlated with a lot of different diseases, ranging from allergies to uh, immune disorders, and, and of course, also inflammatory bowel disease. One of the, the challenges with IBD is how heterogeneous it is. So by heterogeneous, I mean that it's different from person to person, from patient to patient. And this is really the underlying reason why we don't have a cure yet for IBD. We know that there's a lot of factors that are involved uh, in IBD, and some of them are very hard to change. For example, our genetics and our immune responses are so dependent on, on our history that it's hard to change them at the time of the diagnosis. But fortunately, there are things that we can change and that we can uh, influence. And some of these are our environment, so what uh, foods we eat, we, whether we smoke, whether we use different types of drugs, as well as our gut microbiota. One of the things that I'm really excited about in terms of the gut microbiota is that through it, we really have a chance to do personalized medicine. And this is the reason why I'm in the field is that I, I really believe that the microbiota is gonna be a really important way in which we can tackle uh, inflammatory diseases. So my goal here then for the rest of the talk is to really tell you about how there's different uh, studies that we're doing that uh, are looking at how personalized medicine can really affect the microbiota and then affect uh, inflammation 